wonder how many do you think are in this shovel? Can you see that? Millions? Billions? I don't know, it's a lot. So this week's Bible verse has to do with all these grains of sand. In the Bible, God says that he knew us before we were formed in our mother's womb. It said that he knew us so much that he knows all of our thoughts, he knows everything about us, and his thoughts about us are like the grains of sand, meaning he has millions of thoughts about us, billions, trillions. He has so many wonderful thoughts about us because he created us. How cool is that? He made you. So you look at yourself right now and you look at your hands and you look at your feet and you look at the way that God made you and stop for a minute and think, hey, he had all these wonderful thoughts about me before I was even made. I'm exactly who he wants me to be. That makes me so happy. I hope it makes you happy too. Psalms 139, 13 through 18. For you formed my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, my no soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you. When I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written every one of them, the days that were formed for me, when, it, when as yet there was none of them. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! If I would count them, they are more than the sand. So this week I have a really fun activity for us to do, where you get to think about not only how you were made and all the wonderful things about yourself, but you can even take it further and do it with a sibling or a friend. And it gives you a chance to encourage them and remind them that God has more thoughts about them than the grains of sand as well. Okay, so this activity is a lot of fun. I'm gonna use Eli as my uh, helper today. So what you wanna do is, I didn't have any chalk because I'm at the beach, so I'm gonna use what I have, which is sand. But if you're at home and you have sidewalk chalk, you could use sidewalk chalk. Or if you have a large piece of paper that you wanna lay down on, you can lay down on a piece of paper. And if you don't have that, you could just trace your hand. Any of those things would work. So this is what you're gonna do. The first thing you're gonna do is get someone else to either trace you or you can trace a friend or a sibling. So Eli, lay down on the sand on your back. Eli's on his back, squinting because it's really bright. And I just have like a little stick and I'm gonna go around his body and I'm gonna trace his shape. So see, it's super quick. All right, Eli, you can stand up. And what you get when he stands up is an impression of his body. Okay, so the next step is I'm gonna write Eli's name in the sand so we know this is him. E L I. Now, if you're doing this with crayons, you could even make it colorful and add art and make it look like him. Um, but once you write his name, then you're gonna think of all the things that make whoever you're doing wonderfully made. So for Eli, I'm gonna put He's funny, he's smart, uh, he loves science, he loves
loves to write and so on and so forth and you can come up with as many wonderful things to write about the person that you're tracing okay i hope you have fun